here's the video review for the X2, X-Toys XT008 add-on kit, kit for Leader Megatron. Um, and you can see here in tank mode, uh, I forgot to show this off first, um, everything does have a place to go. It makes the uh, turret a little overly huge. Um, none of the add-on kits I think we've seen for this guy uh, have uh, looked great in alt mode. Uh, just because you're adding on parts to a figure that was already pretty compact and uh, well designed in alt mode. But uh, he does add some cans on here, but everything does store on here. And once these are attached, you can leave them attached for transformation. The, the barrel and these parts come off, but the shoulder pieces can stay attached throughout transformation. So, uh, yeah, barrel, the barrel still rotates, a little wobbly. Um, but the one thing I do like about this in alt mode, I do like the, the silver barrel extension for uh, the tank. I think it makes it look a little bit more like Megatron, a Megatron turret versus the skinny little turret here, at least on this version. Like if they do one for the uh, the uh, Armada version, I think I think this barrel looked great on the Armada version as is because it replicated uh, more of that look of the Armada tank. But I, I, I do like the silver barrel here for the cannon here in alt mode. And to transform it, you just go ahead and pull these leg pieces out of the pegs here. And one of the things, this is one of those little things that is not the majority of the kit, but I like. You can see there's a little groove here along this peg, which is awesome because so often when you've got these little pegs that fold up into a body part, getting them out can be a pain. With that little groove in there, it's really easy to get a fingernail in there and uh, pop it out. So that, that little groove, not necessary, doesn't affect its stability when you plug it into a peg hole, but makes it so much easier to get it out. It's little things like that that I enjoy on some of these kits. <laughs> but you fold that up, fold the toe piece in, fold the foot down, and then you've got one of the leg segments. And same on this one. So it's a real simple transformation to the leg mode. And, and the, the, the black parts here... Like I said, I, I think these ha are a little chunky, but the black parts here have a nice, almost rubberized texture to them. There, there's, there's a neat texture to these leg pieces. So anyway, we go ahead and we pull this off the barrel. And then you transform into robot mode as normal. You just kind of lift these flaps up here and then uh, just transform them like you normally would. this up. I want to rotate the cannon out of the way for the shoulder. So there he is in robot mode. I'll go ahead and stand him up. And then for these shoulder pieces, like I said, once they're plugged in, you just bring these panels, rotate this panel up and around, bring it forward, rotate this down, and then uh, there's a little tab inside here that's going to peg into the shoulder. So you just fold that around and uh, get it all lined up properly here. And uh, peg that on to the arm. Oh, come on now. There we go. And it does bulk up the shoulder a little bit and kind of hide that red peg sticking out of his body, which is nice. I want to bring this so it comes over. You can get everything lined up. There we go, come on. There we go. And then you can rotate the cannon back out to the side of his arm. Yeah. Just like that. And the leg pieces just clip on. You don't have to do anything to the feet or anything. You just open up this panel right here. And then you can see there's a slot and a tab here for to go right in here and right in here. 
and you just leave the foot as is, kind of work the foot in, and then come around here and peg those tabs into place on the outside of the leg, and then fold this close, lock it shut around the leg. And the same on this side. Kind of helps if you set the foot in first and then go for the pegs. There you go. Once that's all pegged on, clamp it around, and then he's got bigger legs, which now pushes him up off the top of the screen. <laughs> And this can, and you flip this tab up. And this is the first couple of times doing this is the most difficult because you've got to get this tab. Uh, it goes into this slot here. I don't know if you can see that slot here on the. Uh, see if we can get some light on it. There we go. This little slot right here in the tank tread. And because of the way it's built, because that hinge is there, you kind of got to wiggle it in a little bit at first, and then it just slides right in. Uh, if you put too much pressure, well, the first couple of times trying to push it directly in, it likes to fold and bend around, but uh, once you slide it in, it should be okay. And that gives him his little back nozzle, back turret, whatever. And there he is all, com all combined with this kit, so you can get him entirely in frame here. It makes him bigger, um, and it kind of looks cool. I do think it makes his legs look, his lower legs especially, look a little overly large. Um, but the shoulders, like I said, I, the shoulders are nice. I like the... Uh, the barrel on the back. Um, like I said, I really do like that barrel in tank mode. Um, but it gives you a little bit more of a G1-esque looking Megatron, especially down in the legs. Um, I do think I like the uh, other add-on kit. Was it DX9 that did it? Uh, that just has the smaller pieces that clamp around his legs. I think they have more of an iconic Megatron hilt look. But uh, like I said, you can see these just make his legs super chunky. But all in all, I mean, like, it's, it's a decent-looking robot mode, and he brings him up to about MP10 size. Um, it doesn't art hinder any of the art articulation already on the figure, um, like, and it hides these red pegs, which is nice. Um, and the feet do have a little bit of side-to-side -side rotation, as well as a, a front-to-back, a little front-to-back movement, as well as an ankle tilt. So you do get the ankle tilt out of these. And you can see that they, you can hear them ratcheting. Uh, this is because I took the ratchets out of the hips, so the hips are a little loose. I'll have to tighten that again. But uh, but it does make a pretty iconic-looking Megatron. I do wish there was some add-on kit that could replace this barrel because I really like even with the, with the other kit that can cover this up. I feel like this is just a little bit too long to look proper on his arm, and I don't like having this little thin piece sticking out. I wish there was a, a kit that reinvented the cannon so this this part could either slide all the way inside of it or uh it just had in some way had just this part of the cannon but uh that's a limitation with the original toy and not the kit itself now there is a battle platform mode for this um in which you kind of turn them back into tank mode except you bring the legs out and around to the front so let's go ahead and bring this piece out Turn the turret back into a turret. Bring this out. Oh, come on. Boop -a -doo. basically make the turret here for the cannon or for the tank slide this around the outside like a I guess we go around this way there we go like that bring these out as little panels and let me bring this down a little bit so we can see more what we're doing here and get it all set up so yeah rotate this back around bring it down like this rotate the panel up like that to be kind of defensive panels uh, obviously take the uh cannon off and then the legs come have the legs come around to the side bend them at the knee like this hmm, this has it going a little bit further I'm not sure how they bend the knee on this one now maybe oh here we go 
I know that's not going to work either. I just found out about this battle base mode earlier. Huh, they, they've got the knee, it looks like bending more forward than that, but maybe, maybe that is all it goes. But essentially just kind of setting these forward, bringing the tank up, folding the feet down to be flat. I can't be right. Oh, maybe it's down like this. No. Hmm. It's something like this, where you get the legs around like this. And basically sit flat. Yeah, I guess kind of like this, and then <laughs> put this on. And you kind of got a little defense platform. Like I said, the... the I, I only like I, I knew it attached in tank mode. I've only just seen the picture of this battle base, and it looks like these legs are coming in closer to the uh, closer to the body, more of a ninety degree angle. But with that tread there, I just don't see how that. There's just no way to make that leg bend any further than that. Eh, well, um, so something like that. Just, just for example, here's the picture I'm looking at right here. So it looks like there's a some sort of battle platform mode, but I, I can't get the legs to bend as far as they seem to have here in that picture. But that's like a third mode anyway. Like it, it's all right. Um, you said I, I do like this barrel and tank mode. I may, I may do some combination of this kit and the DX9 kit uh, to make a complete Megatron. So yeah, it's uh, forty-eight dollars at TF Source. I don't know. Part of me is like, like I don't, I don't, I don't feel like any of these add-on kits for this figure have a hundred percent nailed it. And like I said, you, I, I, you can get a decent Megatron by mixing and matching this kit and the DX9 kit, but then you're spending twice what you spent on the original figure, possibly more, depending on what you paid for the original figure to mix and match parts that work okay in robot mode and not so much in tank mode. So, yeah, like I said, that that, that, that little battle platform is kind of iffy. Well, that's incredibly iffy, and it kind of... I don't like that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, there, there it is. The uh, That's the uh, X2 Toys add-on kit for Leader Megatron. I'm still trying to see if I can't figure out how to do this a little better, because this one over here is bending. Anyway, enough of my problems. <laughs>